did you have a county that you like to bait more than any other? I, I'm going to assume it must have been Tip because of the monster rivalry. Yeah, look, I suppose you the history of Cork, and you go back and you would say to yourself, I mean, yeah, who was your greatest rival? I, I think for the for the period that I was playing from eighty three to ninety five, it certainly was Tipperary. You know, um, I I always remember the famous day in Turles in nineteen eighty four, right? And Tip hadn't won for a long time, right? And um, like Cork people had left the match with three minutes to go. I think Tip were four pints up or five pints up at that stage, and it looked over. And um, I mean, the tip crowd in Turles that day were just gone bananas, completely bananas. I mean, it was like it was it was like they were after winning the Ireland final, which was which 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 was fair enough, right? And then we get two late goals and we get another pint and we win the match. And you hear the story of Cork people had left the ground, the train stations only behind the stadium in Turles. They were on the train. There was no mobile phones at that stage, so fellas got back to Cork. And they didn't even realise that Cork were actually after winning the match, you know. And you hear stories of that, and you look at kind of um, the the famine has ended in '87 below in Killarney. We drew them above in Turles. We go back to Killarney, and um, incredible day. I mean, that was an incredible day of sport below there because I'd say even the Curry people themselves that got to go to the match, they never seen anything like this, you know. Richie Stakelands speech: the famine has ended. In- in- incredible, right? And then. Tip coming back uh, uh, and winning in eighty nine, and then we come back in nineteen ninety, you know, which was which was incredible. And uh, ninety one again, uh, a fantastic match. So the rivalry was was just incredible. Yeah, we did we hit Tipperary, we did. And did I hit Tipperary? Yes, I did. And I'm sure if you ask them, they probably this probably say the same thing. But do you know what? We we've probably some of the greatest friends now uh, are Tip guys and the, and the, and the, and the Cork guys and. Pat Fox and Donny O'Connell and Nicky English and you know um, uh, all these all these guys that we played against. Look, we'd meet them on a regular basis. There was a kind of a Ryder Cup set up after that in golf, and we'd go to above to to Turles and stuff like that in Dundrum and play the golf against them. So look, it was supposed to, it was all in the day. It was all about winning, and uh, we knew nothing else. And I suppose that rivalry goes back not just over for the nineties. This that's going back over the last hundred years. That history and that rivalry, and long may that continue. Did the donkeys don't win derbies coming from bats? Did that actually make a tangible difference to how you would have motivated yourself and prepared yourself that year? I I don't think so. To be honest with you, right? Look, even pe- a lot of people made a lot an awful lot of it, right? Um, Archdeacon O'Brien, who was the coach of the team at the time, I mean, yeah, he might have mentioned it once or twice, but you're going to a monster final against against Tipperary above and Turles. Um, like we were written off. I mean, we had no chance. I mean, I remember that year, 1990, right? I mean, I was injured going into the final. I had a fitness test the day before the Monster Final with Dr. Khan, and I'd broken my finger badly in a trial game two weeks before the event uh, a- a- against Cockmore, the 21s, and uh, I had a pin inserted in my finger, and uh, my fitness test was out in the back garden with Dr. Khan. He had a hurley held up, and he asked me to pull across the hurley, and as soon as I did, the hurley just flew onto the ground, the sting and the pain. He said, that's that's it, you're, you're out. Forget about it, right, you know? And... Uh, Teddy McCarthy wasn't playing either that day against against and um, Kieran McGuckin for my own club was 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 the captain, but there was so much went against us right because in the national league I think we played the national league final or in uh, on a bank holiday Monday above in um, above in Nolan Park and uh, I think we got one point from play this the hailstone that were coming down they were as big as golf balls and. A few of us were kind of uh, we were we we were hiding behind our men. We weren't even going to the ball. We were even giving the gun a back if you want to go away there and pocket off up the field yourself. Off you go because um, it was freezing and we got but we got slaughtered in the press. We got hammered in the press. So go back to training. That was all thrown out on the table. Um, donkeys win, don't win derbies. Yeah, the car public maybe had a bit of laugh about it. Or probably still do. Um, but. At the end of the day, it was Tip and Cork, most of Ireland. And I, I think Tip and Cork bring out the best of each other, and that has been proven over the years as well. When we Cork may maybe were raging hot favourites, Tip came out and did the opposite to us. But I can remember being in the dressing room that day, and I said to Teddy Mac, I said, we won't be beaten today. The, the atmosphere inside there, guys were just bullying. They were bullying to get out the door to play against Tip. And they were great, massive, massive occasions. And um, like the rivalry it was seriously intense, but that was probably one of Cork's greatest victories, to be honest with you, at the Monster Final in 1990. Thanks for watching our game. Don't forget to like and share the videos. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe.